humans need every one of these amino acids and you know, to, to trust the package saying that, you know, it's got, you know, whatever amount of protein in it, you know, milligrams or whatever protein, you know, um, that does not tell you what the, uh, what the uh, type of amino acids those proteins consist of. So it's very misleading. You cannot really, uh, you know, be very certain that you're getting all of the amino acids you need just because you're consuming foods with protein. Okay, so, you know, if you want to know that you're getting all the amino acids you need, then uh, this is what you do. You look up complementary pro or uh, complementary amino acids or complementary proteins, and uh, you'll discover that uh, it requires you eat, uh, like, beans and nuts or beans and grains, uh, otherwise known as legumes, or legumes and seeds. And if you eat legumes and seeds, then you're getting the whole uh, amino acids. You're getting all of the protein types that you need. And uh, otherwise, you know, if you if you never eat beans or you never eat nuts or seeds or grains, then you know you might not be getting all the proteins you need. You know, all the protein types you need, all of the amino acids. Okay, so this is the list of the amino acids: alanine, arginine. Asparaginine, aspartic acid, cysteine, glutamic acid, glutamine, glycine, histidine, isoleucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, proline, serine, threonine, tryptophan, triosine, and valine. And um, if you want to come on to my Facebook profile, uh, I have a note here which gives the list of where to find all of these vitamins and minerals and phytochemicals and, uh, and amino acids. Um, I'll give you an example. Uh, for the vitamins, we start out with biotin. And, um, Yeast, ha uh, one packet of yeast has seven grams of biotin. Uh, whole wheat bread has um, 0 0.06 to 6, somewhere between there, uh, grams of biotin. Cheddar cheese has one ounce, or one ounce of cheddar cheese has uh, 0.4 to 2 grams of biotin. Avocado, a whole avocado. One whole avocado has between two and six grams of biotin. Raspberries. One cup has 0.2 to two grams of biotin. Cauliflower. has uh, One cup of cauliflower raw has 0.2 to four grams of biotin. Uh, something else to know about nutrition is you need to eat raw vegetables. Raw vegetables contain enzyme enzymes that help you break down your food and if you do not eat any raw vegetables then you will not be digesting your food so you will be malnourished you know even though you might eat a bunch of food you might eat plenty of vegetables even all cooked you still will be malnourished because you will not be able to incorporate that food into your being because you are lacking enzymes which you would have if you were eating raw vegetables. Um, uh, some something else to know about uh, nutrition. Uh, nutrition in basics. This is what you have to eat. Uh, you have to eat cruciferous vegetables. That inclu includes like broccoli, cauliflower, uh, cabbage. Um, there are some vegetables that are considered cruciferous vegetables, and you need to eat those. Okay, you also need to eat red, yellow, and orange vegetables. They contain certain, um, certain uh, vitamins and minerals uh, that actually, they give you the tone of your skin. They give you, um, uh, health within your, um, digestive glands. And, um... I don't know, there's, uh, there's some necessary nutrients in, in some yellow, orange, and red vegetables. So, like yellow peppers, 
uh, tomatoes, um, I don't know, carotenoids is one example of a, um, a uh, nutrient that is had from yellow and orange vegetables. And um, let me think. Uh, okay, you also need to have uh, some type of complementary protein. So that would be the, you know, uh, the beans and the seeds, or the beans and the grains, or the beans and the nuts. And you also need greens, leafy greens. Uh, so let me think. What do we have so far? We have cruciferous vegetables, red, orange, and yellow vegetables, leafy greens, uh, legumes, and either beans, nuts, or seeds, or um, legumes are beans. So either nuts, seeds, or grains. Also, uh, you need lots of water. Um, and it needs to be pure water. You can't just drink sugar water and think that you are satisfying your body's water need because what pure water does for your body is different than what sugar water does for your body. Sugar water is a fuel. It will fuel your body. Pure water is a cleaner. It cleans your body. They serve totally different purposes. So if you're drinking soda, thinking that you're drinking enough water, you are not drinking enough water. You know, um, to illustrate the point, if you spilt soda onto the floor, you would have a sticky mess there that, you know, it would turn into just a big uh, sludge of goo stuck on the floor. And, you know, it would be attracting all the dirt onto it. And that is exactly what will happen in your body if you don't drink water and you drink strictly fuel sugar water. Um, if you took pure water though and you spilt it across where you had spilt that sugar water onto the floor there would be a big clean spot in the middle of it and you know if you spilt enough pure water on there it would all be gone you know there would be no mess left on the floor and um, you know which brings me to another point fiber uh, so, like, in addition to needing the water, you need the fiber, which acts as like a mop that it scrapes across your intestinal walls, it scrapes through your digestive system, and it removes all of the debris that, that builds up. And uh, the water is an aid to that to dissolve the fuel, to send the fuel into your system so it'll be burnt as fuel in your body rather than being stuck on the inside of your intestine and then being stuck, on, uh, stuck in your pancreas and then being stuck in your kidney and uh, hampering the capacity of your kidney to clean your blood. Okay, so 